Hey. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Yeah, I have a new avatar. The reason for this is mostly because the Veronica avatar is broken. And because of this new avatar, I decided to call myself now a VTuber or VStreamer, I guess. But don't worry, I will be the same Roman you always knew. And this video is just a little snippet of the whole debut stream I did. So if you want to watch the whole rest of the debut stream, link to that is in the description and enjoy. So first off, who am I? Well, my name is Roman and this is the name that I have since my, since I was born actually, who guessed? My birthday is on the August 23rd and I'm currently 22 years old. So yeah, if you want to know exactly when this is, then yeah. So, then if you want to know how tall I am, I'm six foot or 185 centimeters tall. And from now on, I will be calling this one R for one Roman. So everything between zero Romans and one Romans is, yeah, I just thought of this as a little joke there. And if you want to know from where I'm from, I'm from Austria. The wonderful, even to be more specific, from the wonderful city Vienna. What I like? Well, I like to watch anime. Then I like to play games. If you haven't watched my previous, I don't know how many streams I did. Then I like food. I, I like to eat a lot. I like a real lot. And also I like the internet. Because the internet is always a happy place. Or another bit weird. So then my dislikes. I don't like vegetables. Not all of them, but a few. Like I like cucumbers or tomatoes. But carrots is on an exception sometimes, but I don't like eggplants, for example. Just be, just, just the te the texture is just weird. Then another thing is I don't like un when people are unpunctual because I'm someone someone who likes to be punctual. For example, if you tell me, hey Roman come tomorrow at 12 p.m. to this one bar or this restaurant then let me tell you i will be there 10 minutes to 12 p.m. i'm being that punctual and if i have to wait 20 minutes for you then i will be angry i will be really angry also another thing at and another this what I really hate is also the internet. I like the internet, but I also hate it because there are some good places, there are some bad places, and there are good people, there are bad people. It really depends on where I'm where I'm on the internet and who I'm talking to on the internet. And also I really hate when people force me to do any uh, anything. Mostly, this happens in the past. This happened in the past because, for example, I was with, on a call with a few friends. Suddenly, one of and those two friends were arguing about something. I was completely distracted because of maybe watching a video or whatever. And then one of my friends just said, suddenly said, "Hey, Rowan, can you please say yes?" Then the first thing I'll always ask is, what is the context to this? If they don't give me the context, then I will not give you my opinion on it. I will not agree on it. And if I get my, the context to it, then I will uh, maybe agree to it or not. Is the is again depending on the context. So then, my favorites are Elfen Lead. Then I like Megaku City Actors, or also called Kakaru Project. Then another anime I wanna love to watch to watch is Gordon Lagan. Then another one I 
loved to watch was Steins Gate. I have a lot of other animes that I forgot to write down, like Land of the Lustrous, my favorite games. I write down, wrote down the Sonic series, game series, but actually it's most Sonic games. Like Sonic, Free Knuckles, best game, favorite game of all time. Sonic Forces, please put it into the trash where it belongs. I played it through it and I didn't like it. Mostly because it was just too short in my opinion. Sonic 3 Knuckles is, I know it's very short, but it has some pre-play value. Then the Mario series, uh, the Super Mario Bros series, because hey, the, I like to go there to play sometimes some Super Mario games or not. It's my go-to games. Then the Pokemon series. I like also Project Diva because that's an Amiku, Vocaloid. I like Vocaloid, end of story. Then Doki Doki Lichu Club, which you saw a little bit in the in this little trailer I made. And the reason that it is, it, it was my first game I played on stream. Literally the first stream I did was the first act of DDLC. And the stream after that, I did the rest of the game. And sadly, I remember that that stream was completely muted by me. So, or you couldn't, I was completely muted, which I didn't notice back then. And I remember that at the end of the game, I had a little emotional speech. I n didn't, I completely forgot what I saw talked about but I know it was very emotional and also I have a lot of DDLC mods that I want to play I stopped playing DDLC mods last year but I want to redo this uh, maybe in the future and yeah also I like to play Minecraft because hey you can do whatever you want in Minecraft you can maybe defeat the ender dragon maybe defeat the river or you can just do whatever you want. Also, I like the few other games that I that is that are different, or that I want to that I did play once but stop maybe I don't know. Then a few other things or fun facts you should know is I don't only speak English but I also speak German, so you can either message me or write something in German, which I can, I happily translate, or you can also only also speak in English. It depends what, what you're most comfortable with. Then some people also, I know I watched some debut streams where people also said, Hey, the, these are my favorite bands and so on that I like to listen to for me. I listen to one song and decide then, hmm, yeah, yeah, this song is bopping. I want to listen to it every day, at least once. And therefore my, my favorite genre, I don't have a favorite. Then something that I saw on a few, mostly in the, by the Hololife YouTubers, they said, Hey, I like this, this senpai. So yeah, I decided to do this the same and yeah, I like Kiara. I like Kiara. The reason for that is she's so en energetic. If you, if you're feeling down and want to watch something that makes you boost your emotions a bit, or you want to feel a bit more happy, happier, watch her, you feel instantly happy. Even and when you Hey, when you when the stream is over, you either feel very happy just because you have you sucked up her energy. I don't know. You feel just happy or you just had fun watching her. And also there's also no other reason why I like her. It's not like there's some similarities that <clears throat> yeah. Then also my goals for it's mostly yeah getting affiliated because I tried it once last year. It did fail sadly, but I want to try it again, maybe next year, this year, 
and overall. Then also I want to collab with other people more. Really, the only collabs I really did were mostly with my friends and I want to have more collabs with not only my friends, but also with other people like um, Frau Mautzenberger, for example, or maybe also some, not only VTubers, but also some other people in general. Like, I have no idea who came, comes up in my head right now. Um, Dota Poppin? <laughs> for example, I don't know, or maybe it doesn't matter really who it is. Hopefully they, I have fun. They have fun with me to collab and all the viewers also have fun watching the streams. There's also another goal that I want to do, but I will not talk about this because I, I write it down in the panels in my FAQ. So yeah, then a little, a few credits here because, Hey, I, I didn't do this avatar. I don't, in, I didn't draw it, I didn't rig it, but I commissioned Xiao Jing on Fiverr to do it because, yeah, the first avatar I used was basically Monica. The other one was Ronica, which is actually just the edited version of Monica with just having brown eyes. Sadly, that avatar, I messed a bit around with that avatar and now it's completely broken. It's basically just, yeah, here are all the elements on their avatar and that's it. So yeah, I decided to commission an avatar and one little thing, this avatar is mostly built after myself. So if you ever wanted to ask how I looked, this is the most accurate version with brown hair, brown eyes, and the glasses and also the beard and mustache. Also, the last thing I want to talk about is actually all the hashtags you can use. For streams, it's the R live. If you want to make a tweet about, hey, I watch, I watch the R man, or if you made a clip and want to, and want to post it also on Twitter, use the R live tag for the stuff. So I know, hey, yeah, that's, hey, that's my clip, that's from my stream, uh, everybody can watch it, the VOD or not, or the video, I don't know. Then if you want to make some fan art, use the tag the RM Arnton, that's the only tag that was available for that, <laughs> because the M, the artist, I wanted to have something like the artist also. Another wonderful thing is I said it a lot, a lot of times, but you, everybody who's watching this, everybody who's joining the streams and follows or even joins the discord server, you all are my members, my members of the wonderful R force. Speaking of R force, I want to, I want to tell you a little story, which is technically also I decided to make this little story the official the Armen backstory. So the story begins in a on a world which is similar to this one. You could say it's even from a different dimension. I personally was on this wonderful planet, the strongest that could ever existed. People also called me Godhard because of my heart being my power. I could control my different arms. I can always have my sword and I can also give people their life back. The only problem is I wasn't alone because those people were in danger because of two beings. Strong beings. One was a maniac, completely obsessed with chaos. And another being from a di completely different dimension with the goal of destroying all dimensions. But again, I was not alone. Because I was 
friends with beings from different worlds. One with a two-tailed fox, another one with horns, which look, which made them look like a cat. I always thought those two beings, strong beings with them. And we decided to call us ourselves the R-Force. But then, one day, this interdimensional being had a plan. We located it on our world. And I decided to go alone without my fellow members. That was sadly a mistake because this being not only sealed my heart, the powers, but also they teleported me into this dimension. And through the, tra the travel through the, for, from my dimension to this dimension also transformed my heart into a normal human heart. And even though I could have lived always without my heart in my body, I am now concerned that if this happens in this dimension, I could die. So I decided to find myself, my me from this dimension, to take on a literal, a little ritual that we gathered, that we found, that makes dimensional travel possible. But I'm also concerned if I find my me, then he could also be in danger. So that's why I'm called myself the Armen. But I don't want to do this alone because what happens? This interdimensional being is coming into this dimension too. What will happen? It will probably also find my me and will destroy it. And also me, which is, all, is also the reason why I decided to make you all members of the Air Force. So I hope you will join me in my journey to find my real me and bring have a chance and bring me the chance to go back into my own dimension. And that was the story. I I I really worked hard technically on this. Also a little little tiny fun fact. Um the soul story is based on a little series. I started way back in 2013. Everything I just said is technically that whole series just summed up and have a, uh, give me a reason to be here somehow. But yeah. And also another thing that technically I could now end this whole stream because that's literally everything I have to say. But I decided to have a little bonus stuff because normally other VTubers maybe sing, maybe show you some other stuff. But well, I decided to... I just want to tell you a few stories. Personal stories. Real stories. About me. And I decided the first story is actually on how I discovered Twitch. Or even basically how I became a YouTuber. I saw that not many people are actually subscribed on my YouTube channel. So here's a little graph because hey, like Jesus Christ, how many people didn't subscribe? And if you like this video, hey, a like is always welcome. So, yeah. Congratulations on falling down the VTuber rabbit hole. Welcome. Enjoy your stay. You can never leave. You can never leave.